What's going on everybody? I'm Fedor Vapor and welcome to the today's episode of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, last time we did the intro puzzle and the puzzles and the boss fight for Val Raven. Uh, today we're going to be moving on forward and we have to head towards Sartar and fight that big old bitch. Be sure to check out my other social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Player. The links are below in the description. If you enjoy what you see, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It is very much appreciated. And let me say in advance, welcome to the Vidarmi. I would really love it if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am currently striving for 100 subscribers to set a custom URL for YouTube. And I have a bunch of content already uploaded and scheduled to release as of right now, daily at 12 p.m. EST. Now let's get right into the gameplay. Okay. See, I'm not sure how, like, intent crazily they're actually gonna hide these things that I have to find. But, like, do I, should I backtrack? I don't know. I never actually found any of these phases. This is the only face I've really found. I haven't found any other ones. Just like I do. Her mother is actually live action recorded. The underworld and all souls will see you. Don't be afraid of his beauty. I will always be here to cut. Did you see her? That was her mother. Galena. Galena. This is my second time going through. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come. I uh, didn't have my YouTube channel set up the first time I played this. So I'm recording, I'm streaming it and recording it for YouTube. I'll cut it into different parts. Near a boat. Oh, that's that's near that's near Niflheim, isn't it? That's after Surtur.
Fuck. Shit, motherfucker! Ah, oh, shoot. Lucky there. Fuck, I'm hitting the wrong button. It is short, there's only like three bosses. Is it short like people say yeah, there's one two three bosses and then You fight That's it I'm Try not to spoil too much but like To get to between the second and the third boss It's pretty far because like there's this other little mini thing that you have to do Before you can get to the third boss if I remember correctly. I can't remember if it's before or after but I'm pretty sure it's before the third boss there's like these three little things you have to do and then you get to the third boss and then it's like quite a ways between the third boss and the uh, last boss but I think it's a I think it took me like the crone fire yeah so Valraven is the first boss well for me I usually do Valraven first and then it's Surtur and then there's a, a third boss after that but there's like you'll see you'll see I'll be streaming probably till th 3 o'clock in the morning if you want to hang out. I think it took me like 7 hours or something to beat this the first time. The fire giant has answered. He comes from a land of mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. I remember this boss being easier than Valraven. Eastern. Yes. EST. She found the wretched old fool on her way back. Ooh, a birch tree. An outcast. It's badly burnt all over. She took pity on him. For he was not long for this world. Oh, I didn't have this one. I think I EDT right now. The destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surtur and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that. And do you know who survives Ragnarok? It's 7.02 uh, p.m. here, right now. And it's... Vidar. Vidar survives Ragnarok.
There's a, a game called Ragnarok Online. Oh look, I found a face. There's a game called Ragnarok Online, and if you ever played Final Fantasy VIII, the final like dragon airship thing you get is called Ragnarok. Never found this one before. Senua, we each walk these lines, gazing towards different horizons. Some of us further than others. What's going on, Vapor? How you doing, bro? Cannot see what you see. There is nothing wrong in seeing the world the way you do. And just so everyone knows, I am doing a giveaway here soon. I'm going to be giving away some Vidar Vapor hats. It says hashtag Vidarmy on the back. I can actually show you. I'll show you. Boop. So here's a pack of hats. So the front. That's a uh, custom embroidery. And in the back. There's my webcam. Where the fuck are you webcam? Which way am I going? Here we go. Hashtag fit army. How many of these faces there are to find? Oh, eat shit, mother flogger! Stop knocking me down, bitch. Yeah, this game's gorgeous, dude. Look at this. This game's fucking sweet. And, like, 
definitely wear headphones if you can. This game came out last year, I think. You hear them too, yes, I heard their screams, and I still hear them now. Cheap quality headphones. Man, you need to get some like surround sound headphones, bro. Like, I can hear them different locations of the room. It's super creepy. They actually used a special microphone that has like ears on it and they recorded it as as they were like walking by and in different distances from uh, from the special microphone so they can get this crazy spatial sound going. Open the door. Going on, fish sweater. I want the door open. There it is. Weird. What's going on, dude? It's been a while. I haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, one second here. It's called a mechanical keyboard, dude. Hey man, I'd rather have a responsive key mechanical keyboard than a that's loud than a shitty membrane keyboard that doesn't respond for shit. Oh, this part's gets gonna get stressful.
nice transition, Senua. Build an acoustic dampener between the keyboard and the mic reception. Or you could just like turn your sound down and just deal with it because PCs have computers. I mean, key PCs have keyboards. Like any like real gamer who gives a shit about gaming and being good at competitive gaming has a mechanical keyboard. Because most streamers can afford hundred dollar mics that sit on a fucking a boom arm that sits up here That's also like a hundred dollars You can't afford that shit As if I missed this one, it was right here. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. Thanks for stopping in, Swagga. It's a mechanical keyboard, dude. You can't avoid it. Not much I can do. You're literally like the only person that's ever complained about my keyboard. <laughs> oh shit, I got turned around. I'm lost now. This is what I wanted though. See, I found this one, but I missed the one before it. Before the earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the sun, it was bright and hot and flaming. Fishwetter was kidding. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became a star. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Emir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of fire giants. It's going to end Eddie Ryu. Welcome to the stream, dude. He left. Okay. Okay, so that's the way back. So I need to go and hug. Yeah, this man, this game trips me out. My headphones are really, really good. right there
Okay, so I hit that. Then I go this way. And then I go that way. Yeah, I think so. Let's see if we got this. I think I got this. <coughs> Ready? And sanitizer. Okay, let's set everything on fire. You can make it, Sarua. You got this. You can do it. Do your gods <laughs> answer your prayers, Senor? I asked the gods for mercy. All of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua. Find your own path, like I find mine. My gods abandoned me. I am alone. <sighs> A quick poke around. There's another Bernie Fire thing. Another fire sacrifice. And a door over there. But I want to see... I want to look around first, real quick. So I want to see if I can find... Um, those little t rune tablets. I didn't have this one before. The Northmen say that what we see as a rainbow is the bridge that goes from the world of men. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For now, I'm missing eleven of them. Cross giants and mountain giants cannot cross it. But they say that when Ragnarok comes, not a thing in this world will be safe. The rainbow bridge will break under the onslaught of the fire giants riding on flaming steeds. Senua. I have seen the fire of Sirt spread far and wide, and to our lands. Ragnarok is coming. Oh shit. Ragnarok's coming, guys. Okay, so first we have to come up here. Be like, oh no. I need to do a fire sacrifice. Falknet! If you look closely at behind the maple leaf in my webcam frames, you'll actually see that there's a Falknet in them. And if you look at the image in my description pit, at the bottom, you'll see Falknets in there too. I just wanna. I think that was the only one I needed to find. Oh yeah. Okay. The Northmen of Hell worship the devourers and sish with gods of darkness. I come from Erin, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, 
Where am I vaping on? Um, this. It's, uh, Cool Raz. Some, some raspberry shit. Blue raspberry shit. Okay. Pretty sure the R is up here somewhere. What's going on, Jesse? How you doing, bloody half elf? Doing okay, how about yourself? I'm doing great. I can't move. <clears throat> Just playing some Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Trying to scare the crap out of my viewers. Creeps the shit out of me. But it's it tells a lot of the stories of my heritage, so I'm okay. I enjoy this game. It's very Viking as fuck. Here's the fire thing. So I need to go this way. Oh, and then it's just straight, okay. Yeah, there's girls in my channel all the time. It's the beard. Oh shit. Should actually set on fire a little bit there. Run, Senua! Sanua. Oh my god. Oh my god, the sounds, dudes. Are you kidding me? I gotta turn around. Is this game worth a beep? This game is amazing. Do you just kill one at a time like that? You can switch between them and kill multiples, but I just find it easier to handle one at a time. Is there a grapple? Or Ferris break? Nope. The guard break is you can use a heavy attack, which is right click, or you can melee them. Um, this is an indie game made by Ninja Theory, but they really went very in depth into the study of how psychosis works because Senua has psychosis. And they used all sorts of different technology and they worked with people that actually have psychosis and psychologists to make sure that they get this stuff as as uh, <coughs> close to right as possible. And 
yeah, it fucking it gets really creepy the further you go in. Yeah, I man, I know how to play. Why wouldn't I know how to play? Of course I know how to play. I've already beaten this game. Let it collapse. And have the courage to shed your tears. Raise your word. Run! My word is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world No. I see nothing now. It's not, man. It's friggin... The uh, stories of the Vikings and shit. She's a Pict. She's so she's a Ke from a Celtic tribe, and she was exiled because they thought she was cursed because she has psychosis. Yeah, man, I have fucking tattoos like crazy, bro. Chest, ribs, legs, everything. Yeah, the graphics are gorgeous. Hey, listen. Oh, thanks for the host, uh, Jesse. Appreciate it. Thanks for the host, Fishwetter. Much love, guys. Okay, so there's that. I think this is the last fire sacrifice. Thanks for the host. Thanks for the follow. Wild hey, Frog listen. Massa. You guys are I'm digging the love, guys. Stuart. I think this door opens on the other side. Yeah, I can I saw the bar. <laughs> Definitely you are a trendsetter. I don't know, right? I want to get like a custom animation with custom music and shit at some point. Oh, there's the P. I see. They left me for dead. Maybe they were right. There it is. Algies. Free. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it without you. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. What else do I need? Three saws. And this is Dagaz. Oh, this is Nalthus. Where are you, Nalthus? Oh, there's Rido. I have this one already. The defender of Muspel is called Sert, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One because he is like something burnt. Surtur. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword. And at the end of the world, he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, 
Waging war against all the gods, he will be victorious. And then burn the whole world with fire. Except that, really. Yeah, now you're around here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right here. Durr. But I gotta go down first and come around and look up at it. I gotta find the three saws room. Puzzle's not good for Forrest Gump brain. Yeah, three saws is up here. This is in Far Cry 5. Can't afford that shit. I could have sworn that was it. There it is. I taught so. I wish I could just slide down this. Just be like, yay, slide down. But no, soon it was gonna be safe and climb down ladders and shit. Right? There's a runes from the Elder Futhark. And she has a special sight, like, because she's crazy. Okay, wait. Okay, there's that, and there's that. Okay. It's probably going to make me run some ass-backwards way to get there, but... That's why she's kind of Irish, because the uh, um, truth. So I think the pics are from like around Northern Ireland or something. You actually feel like you feel her pain. She's a really good actor. What's funny? <laughs> What's actually really funny is she I'm wasn't sorry. originally supposed to play Senua. They just needed to practice, they wanted to test some of her, some of their technology, out. like some of their stuff. Everyone. And they really liked the way she portrayed the character, so they ended up making her the, the vision, the voice and look of Senua. This is actually what the chick looks like, like her face anyway. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you.
You know that. There's Surtur. Fuck. Everyone, but not me. Fight me now. Come on, Surtur. Shit. Yes! I love the music too. So good. Five things on my table, that's easy. We got an X-Wing. We got... Uh, first order transporter. You have phone, cell phone, Great. mouse, keyboard, fucking vape. He's live action as well. He's not CGI.
this life and the next to fulfill yours. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. Partner in the eye. As I have. To find your answers. Your quest. And well, thanks for stopping in, everybody. That was the puzzles leading up to and including the fight with Sartar. Tomorrow we're going to continue on and see where exactly we can get. I already know how far we can get because I already streamed all this and it's literally just a cropped version of my stream. But I really appreciate everybody coming in and watching this video and hope to see you in my stream sir, soon. Blah. Be sure to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and player.me. The links are below in the description. I appreciate, really appreciate it. I can't even talk, and I don't even give a fuck. I'm not editing this out, and I don't give a shit. Uh, thank you guys for all the comments and likes. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. You are the stars of this show. Not sure what time it is for you, so good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning. Much love. March on, Vid Army.